I'm Danny, this is my wife Jess, and we just wanted to make a quick video and share with you our testimony and how Jesus has touched our lives. Michael was the guest speaker at our Holy Spirit conference, um, and after he was done speaking, he did an altar call for healing, and me and my wife went up to the altar. And during the altar call, we were all in prayer. My wife got pulled on stage, and Michael began to pray for her. After she got prayed for, Michael asked if he could pray for her husband, at which point I was pulled to the green room of our church, and Michael started to pray for me. What I was needing prayer for was depression, I had an addiction to pills, I was suicidal, and I was in a place where I was very bitter and angry with God. While Michael was praying for me, I, be, I asked the Lord to, I just told the Lord I wanted to submit and I didn't want control anymore. I actually told the Lord that I'm submitting my life to him because the way I was living wasn't the way I wanted to live. So we get home that night, can't sleep, and I was just trying to make sense of what happened as I'm like, as I laid in my bed. I threw my hands up to the Lord, and I just told him. Um, I told him that I didn't want to feel what I felt anymore. I didn't want to look to things of the world to try to sustain my life or sustain me. I wanted the Lord to come into my life. Um, a voice inside my head told me, my child, you have been healed. You have to receive it though. And since then, I've had a, after receiving my breakthrough, that I allowed the enemy t to tell me that I would never receive. I have been clean from pills for five weeks. I have not been depressed. I no longer have any thoughts of suicide. I want to live not only for Jesus, but I want to live to express the love of Jesus and what he can do for not only me, but people just like me. Um, after I went onto the stage, Michael prayed for me and I told him about my diagnosis with MS. Um, you know, it gave me seizures um, to the point of where I wouldn't be able to walk. Um, it would cause me not to be able to speak, cause lesions on my brain, which caused me to stop remembering things. Um, the doctors even said at some point in my life I would be bound to a wheelchair um, because of the seizures and the lesions on the brain because it eventually will make it to where you can't walk. Um, <clears throat> and I also told him about uh, my kidneys and how um, you know, my kidney was starting to shut down and I was getting dialysis at that point. Um, I went to the doctors after he prayed for me and when I went to the doctors, they did a blood test and the next, like if you, I think it was like two days after um, the blood test, they said, well, we need you to come in and redo it again. And I asked them why and they said, well, just, we just need you to come and do it again. They couldn't give me an answer. I said, okay, I'll come again. Um, so I got my blood test again and they said, this just doesn't make sense. Your kidney function is perfect. Um, they said that they didn't show any um, signs of MS, what it shows in the blood to show that you have it. So they told me it was dormant. And I said, no, it's not dormant. God healed me. When Michael prayed for me, God healed me. And um, it was just cool because I remember asking my doctor, I said, well, how many times in the, all the years of medicine that you've been doing, how, how many times has somebody became dormant with MS? And she actually said that I was the first case that she's ever had in her 20 something years of doing medicine. And um, it's just been a blessing ever since then, you know, like I've just seen how much my husband's life has changed and um, it's helped our marriage with him. Um, I've been praying, you know, for him for five, almost six years for him to come back to church and come back to God. And God is just always faithful, you know, he always hears our cries out to him. And I'm just so thankful because I know that things are just gonna go up from here. <laughs> Absolutely. I've never met an evangelist or a pastor like Michael that actually took their time to just stop, take a moment to really sit down with somebody like me and my husband. Yeah. Um, 
and just be in that moment to pray for us. Like it was just, you know, so, you really feel the love of Jesus in that moment when someone just stops and takes their time to say, hey, like I'm gonna pray for you. And since that prayer, our whole lives have changed. We just wanna honor Michael and Jesus' image and thank him for being a part of our healing. We know it came from the Lord. We give all the glory to God, but we also want to honor Michael for being a part of it because it's something that we will never forget. I will remember the date for the rest of my life. <sighs> and I just can't thank you enough. Yeah. Even my daughter, our daughter Oakland, we told her when we came, you know, after I got my test um, back showing that I was healed, I told her, I said, Oakland, because she knows like when I have seizures and it would scare her. And we said, Oakland, guess what? Mommy's healed. Uh, Michael prayed for us and um, went to the doctors and mommy's healed. She goes, mommy, you're healed. That guy on the stage, he prayed for you and you're healed. <laughs> you know, and we said it came from Jesus. She's just even in awe. So you see a five-year-old kid just so excited about the fact that her mom's been awesome. healed. It's not only changing our life, it's changing our kids' lives, our family, our church. So truly from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for just taking the time to just show us the love of God.